I read the script and absolutely loved it and loved the the kind of the visual mood board as well that was attached and I must but I thought Natalie's film Nocturnal was just amazing so all of those combined in the themes of the script and the story that she was telling I just I really wanted to be involved it's the story of, of this young man called Jacob who feels that he is a wolf and and he is going to uh, he's in a treatment center called True You for people with species dysphoria to try and quote unquote fix himself I guess and that that is the sort of nature of the story in a, in a way and the journey within that and all the relationships that come about of all the different characters most characters in the film almost have an animal that goes with it um, and Jacob is a wolf and he has been struggling with and dealing with this sense that he is this other thing that he is this animal but inside of a, a young person's body a young man's body and and so he he is constantly kind of towing this line of being one thing and having to exist in a world that is completely other to that thing um, as well as the fact that he exists in that world pretty much all, all of his life the kind of compromising questions and realities of the way it makes him feel as to whether he really is the thing that he feels and so it is, he's a beautifully complex being Natalie um, was working with Terry Notary who's been our amazing movement movement coach and Terry's an incredible expert in movement and kind of spirituality as much as he, he does so many things and we had a week's rehearsal um, in Dublin before we were going to have a short break and then come to do three weeks with all of the ensemble all of us together before we then began shooting and we that one week ended up being kind of isolated but that first week of Basically, it was there to discover what the wolf is and how to do this wolf. Because there's a number of scenes with Jacob being a wolf and being his sort of true self. And it's very tricky. Like, I, you don't want, well, we hope that it's not just a bad impersonation of a wolf, you know. And it was working with, with Terry that week and working the three of us, discovering what wild actually means and kind of going past the surface level of being on all fours or moving like a wolf. And that became so, so insightful to the character and made the truth of him being a wolf really tangible.